YouTube, it's above average Cody. And as I've been improving a lot in the ranked arena here on Halo Infinite, my MMR has shockingly been going up. And as you can imagine with the players that I normally run with, guys, pretty much 99% of our games are Onyx lobbies. And we're seeing average MMRs of anywhere from 1550 all the way up past 1700 in the game with Soul Snipe we actually just reviewed a couple days ago. Now, as I play in these lobbies, guys, it can be kind of hard to adjust because anybody that's played in both diamond lobbies and onyx lobbies knows that the two can be very different not in fundamentals but in pacing and kind of how you move around the map so today i want to talk about things that i am really noticing in my gameplay that i am hyper focusing and trying to improve at that is going to hopefully help me um compete a little better at a higher level now this video is for those of you that maybe haven't been up playing at that level yet or have maybe experienced it and not sure what's so different about it. This isn't going to really have any insane insight that you're not already doing. It's kind of just things that I'm experiencing that I realize I have to do in a different way or at a different speed to help me better compete against really high level players. Now, enough talking guys, let's jump into the first thing that I really am trying to think about every single game I play, even in my warm up. It is focus. You have to be laser focused. I'm talking, you need to sleep eight hours, you need that caffeine if that helps, and you need to focus on nothing except the game, your reticle, and what the heck you are doing on the map. If you are not straight up wide-eyed, cracked, look at the screen, guys, Um, it makes the game a lot harder. And this is obvious, but I have a lot of trouble with this one, so I want to put that first. Now we'll get into, like, the real, like, gameplay actuated stuff. And the first thing I want to talk about is timing. Timing things is probably the hardest thing in Halo Infinite, and you do not experience it at any level except in Onyx lobbies. I'm sorry. You can, like, stand and wait and be like, okay, guys, let's go in one, two, three. Okay, push and get the oddball. That is not the same thing. Uh, playing in this lobby with Soul Snipe, which is actually playing in the background, he was just always in the right place at the right time, and it looked like he never really slowed down. Um, and this comes down to watching your teammates and watching how many players are up. If you are down on the map or you are solo on the map, guys, you can't push. You have to wait for better timing. And if you're early, you need to slow up and wait a couple seconds and be pretty confident that your team is right behind you about to push in. So the timings come up a lot faster and it can be very hard if you're not paying attention to these timings to have it work out really good. Um, and this is kind of one of the big differences I say with diamond lobbies because I say if you're the first there, wait a second and you're confident your teammates are behind you. Your teammates are not always behind you in those lobbies, guys. But in the higher lobbies, everybody's semi on the same page they know what they want to do and they know what needs to be done so say you get a pick it's go time every player knows it's time to go there's not much timing up you have to do you kind of just have to instinctually be ready for it and that's one thing i'm kind of struggling with is having like the perfect timings and stuff but the first step is to think about it and have it in my mind so that i can kind of transact that into my gameplay and now next up guys this one branches off really good with the timing thing and that is taking the proper routes to the action um, this can come down to either taking a longer route to time things up better or taking a shorter route because you need to be there and you are missing the timing. Um, a good example of this is a gunfight, a very important objective push. Maybe you're the last spawner. Um, if it is go time to push an objective and you have the advantage and you're just spawning up, you need to take the fastest route to get there so that you can help your team or at least put yourself in a position where you can get an angle on the enemies or even influence the spawners. But you have to know that off the spawn what route you are going to take and how you are going to get there um this comes with watching death cams a lot and things like that um because you have 10 seconds so if you're watching death cams you can see everything you can see the kill feed and you can think about and know hey i need to run towards p2 off spawn or i need to run to sandbags off spawn and eat up that uh area um so thinking about the routes you're going to take and just not being slow about it. I know a lot of times I like to take the long, ratty, like flanky route because that's how the enemy team forgets about you and that's how you sneak up behind them and stuff like that. You can't really do that in Honix Lobbies, guys. They're ready for the wrap. They're ready for the slow push. They're ready for it all. Um, so sometimes the fastest, like, cut through the middle of the map route is the smartest one. But 
you have to have the awareness of the spawns and everything and how many players are up like i mentioned in the prior tip um so that you know if it's safe to take that fast route because if it is not safe you go out in the open you are going to get absolutely beamed, which transitions into the next very important thing and why I aim training like a madman. Um, you can't miss. You cannot miss bullets, dude. Everybody in these lobbies are absolute beams. If you're not moving, you're getting headshot with a sniper. You're getting perfected. I got headshot by a sniper like 100 times today on stream, I swear. Um, and I was standing still almost all of those times. You can never stop moving. But the main focus of this is you cannot miss a bullet. If you are taking a straight-up 1v1 gunfight, you can't miss. You cannot miss. You miss, you lose. Um, another thing with this, guys, is you always have to be ready to shoot. Whether it's across map, whether it's helping your nearest teammate, you have to be quick with it. You have to get your reticle on that enemy, and you have to hit them. You can't be like, oh, I, is anybody in the middle of the map? You gotta be fast. You gotta look up and snap the targets very quickly. You need to put in the maximum amount of damage in the shortest amount of time because many, many times you are going to have one little split second that is going to decide whether you live or you are in the respawn screen. So your aim really, really has to be on point. And to kind of wrap this all up together with one little bow, guys, it's relax. If you're getting MMR into these lobbies, it is because the game has put you there. You have basically improved to a point where the game thinks that you can hang in these MMR lobbies. And obviously, I play with higher Onyx players, but the MMR kind of fluctuates. Um, and we never used to get those lobbies, guys. So that is to be said that I am getting better at the game. I am shooting a lot better than I have. And through a lot of VOD review and things like that, guys, I'm making much better decisions. And this gameplay in the background was 1,700 plus MMR. I played really slow. I played very careful. And I did have a pro on my team, yes. But I played okay. I was not getting beamed the entire time. Um, you have to relax and you have to have the confidence to just keep grinding and keep putting in work. Do not stare at that rank number like I am in my Diamond 4. Um, because I was Diamond 4 last season, and let me tell you, my gameplay looks nothing like it did last season, guys. I have improved a whole lot, and the moment you start thinking, I can't hang in these lobbies, I'm not good at the game, this is trash, I'm not getting better, that is the moment where you get checked out, and once you get checked out, guys... You just can't wait for the game to end. You're staring at the respawn screen, and you throw everything you've learned out the window. So if you're trying to get better, you're having a rough day, you're having a couple rough games, you just gotta, you gotta slug through it, guys. You gotta relax. You gotta stay focused. Back to tip number one, and you gotta make the right decisions and keep the aim locked so that you can keep competing in these lobbies and keep getting better, guys. Because as always, the better talent you play against, you're gonna, <laughs> you're either gonna get crapped on constantly or you're going to be forced to get better at the game and i'm trying to be forced to get better at the game which is basically why i'm going through these things in this video guys because these are the things that i'm noticing that are hurting my gameplay in these higher lobbies that i need to work on and just get better with but one day at a time guys um that last one i'm really still working on because i do get really tilted but it's like it's hard because it's like, I just want to win. I want to improve. And improving is not an overnight type thing. It's a one day at a time thing, especially when this is your first competitive Halo ever, guys. I'm not coming from years of Halo, sadly, but it is what it is. But all right, guys, again, this video is more for the ones that maybe have not experienced this level of play, but want to kind of climb up there. Um, these are things that I'm noticing. Now, again, like I said, these lobbies are not like a different world. It is all still very the same. You have to get the kills. You have to push the advantage. You have to play the OBJ to win the games. But it happens at a much faster pace. There's not time where people are just standing around the map. There is always spawns being blocked, equipment being picked up, and just advantages being either pushed or being waited for timings there's a lot of moving parts these lobbies are very much a well-oiled machine where in diamond lobbies and even platinum you have a lot of time to kind of stop and think about things you don't get to do that here so hopefully this video kind of gave you some insight on what to expect as you get to higher lobbies and make no mistake these aren't the highest lobbies but um they, they are definitely decent skill lobbies make no mistake guys but already that is enough talking, guys. Subscribe to the channel. We upload every day. We've been doing a lot of shorts content because I've just been so, so busy to do all the long-form content. But I'm trying to kind of keep up with videos and backload some so that hopefully I can keep putting out videos like this for you guys. Let me know if there's anything you want to see down in the comments. Um, but leave a like on the video, guys. Leave a comment what you think of these tips. Is it things you're trying to work into your gameplay already? Or is there anything new that you weren't really already thinking about? Um, let me know down below. But already, guys, channel membership, super thanks. Y'all know the drill. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support lately. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.